Last night, we brought you the story of the wildly embarrassing bombshell that has blown up the right-wing case against President Joe Biden and his sole surviving son. The special counsel investigating the Bidens, Trump appointed U.S. Attorney David Weiss, has now indicted his own key informant for lying. 43-year-old Alexander Smirnov was arrested Wednesday and charged on two counts for feeding the FBI false information. Smirnov's allegation that Joe and Hunter Biden received $5 million bribes from a Ukrainian company has always been manifestly absurd. And yet, it was the central point of the Republican argument for President Biden's impeachment. Republican politicians and the right-wing media relied on this discredited informant to make their case over and over and over again. A veteran FBI informant alleging both the president and Hunter Biden each took $5 million in bribes. The details come from an FBI informant who is very trusted. A highly reliable informant that has always checked out all the information he's ever given us has checked out. We uh, have determined that whistleblower is extremely credible. This is a very crucial piece of our investigation. A confidential human source that had been reliable previously to the FBI. A confidential informant that they had on the payroll. Documented allegations of bribery from a trusted FBI confidential human source has now finally been released. Now its contents are devastating. Trusted. So trusted. So reliable. Highly credible. In fact, in just one year, Sean Hannity, that guy you just saw there, promoted the bogus claims of that so-called trusted informant. No less than 85 times on his show, 28 of those segments were Hannity monologues, long ones, on the topic. And of course, it was a joint effort between Fox News and elected Republicans like Texas podcaster Ted Cruz, who talked about it ad nauseum on his thrice weekly program called The Big Cushy Chair, or whatever it is. So you might think, given the fact that their entire case just fell apart in the most public and embarrassing way imaginable, that at least some of these people would feel they had to address it. Say if you were a Fox News broadcaster who had been repeating what you now know to be a lie to your audience for months. No, of course, they didn't even mention it. As of last night, at least. Fox News, take a look at what they were talking about last night when the story broke on Fox News. And welcome to Hannity, and today was an unmitigated disaster for Fulton County DA, Fawny Willis. Fanny lines blurred, allowing a county DA to bring charges against a former U.S. president is absurd and destructive. Fanny and the lover boy in the hot seat. The Trump Georgia case falls apart. But remember, this isn't a Fannie and Loverboy scandal. It's a Biden scandal. We also have to remember that Joe Biden at this point is essentially a vegetable. And another knock on Joe Biden's leaky bucket of a brain. Obama and the CIA caught cooking the books. Brand new bombshells. Just the usual charming content across all of Fox News primetime last night during this big story. There were zero mentions of their favorite FBI informant. Zero. Now, I think tonight they might get to it once they've gotten their story straight. Break it to their audience. The person they've been relying on for over a year with this ludicrous claim wasn't telling the truth. Has in fact been arrested for making it up. But, you know, we know this. Fox News is not a journalistic organization. Their purpose is to create an alternate reality for their viewers where they hear only what the conservative movement wants them to hear. We know that because they paid out the largest media defamation settlement in all of U.S. history to the tune of nearly $800 million dollars. Create, for creating the alternate reality, the election was stolen from Donald Trump, and we know they knew that was false. And believe me, they saw the news about their number one informant yesterday. They just chose to ignore it. How embarrassing. And here I was thinking Sean Hannity always wants to set the record straight. Again, on this show, we always want to set the record straight. 